So we're here in the Nikon booth with Mark Suarez. Mark, I just had my picture taken by, how many cameras exactly was that? Uh, this is 68 Nikon DSLR cameras. And they're arranged 360 degrees, you know, uh, six feet in the air, all down. So what exactly is going on here? What, what, uh, what's gonna happen to my image from all of these cameras? Uh, so this is a, a, what's called the Nikon powered XX array. We have this wireless remote that allows you to basically sync all of them together. So everything fires at once, all these high resolution images get transferred to their system and they have this automated process that within about two hours uh, they can literally have you in a video game. It's a proof of concept, just shows what it could be done, but you could 3D print, you could do augmented reality. There's, there's really a limitless uh, amount of things that you can do once you get captured. So I'm here with Alex and my character is finally complete and it's actually remarkably close. Like it catches the stripes on my shirts, the wrinkle in my pants. You can see my wallet in my back pocket. You can see the orange on the inside of my collar. It's kind of incredible. So once you're captured, we can do a lot of things. This was one of the really neat things that we can do is to get you right into a game and start playing with yourself. And you, honestly, the, seeing the look on people's face when they do it is just incredible. It's just priceless. It's really kind of, kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's, it's very uncanny to see a, a likeness of yourself up on the screen. Now, now somebody said earlier that you can actually use this for 3D modeling, so technically, I could go have an action figure of myself made on a oh, 3D absolutely. printer? Absolutely, so we can take this, we can 3D, 3D uh, print this, uh, but we, we, we capture such high resolution that we can very easily also create an incredible portrait, an incredible 2D rendering, or put it into a, a, a VFX application. There's, it's almost limitless what we can do because we're capturing so high resolution. Question that I have to you, uh, it's, it's really cool and interesting to play yourself, but how weird is it to actually watch somebody else play you as a game character? You, you know, James brought up a good point. Like, I was, I was playing kind of like a wuss because I was protective. I was like, well, I don't want to, like, kill this character that's clearly, clearly me, and having somebody else play it's definitely bizarre. And you got some great moves there, too. I'm really impressed. <laughs> You've been training, haven't you? <laughs> that has not, that, I don't think that'll ever happen. Alex, thank you very much. Very cool technology, and uh, we're, we're very glad to be able to highlight it. Thank you.